Hey guys and gals, I'm Adam, and this is The New Woodworker. So I'm gonna change, so give me one second here, okay? All right, that's much better, guys. I gotta tell you, the humidity is what kills me. I do wanna move to a dry climate pretty soon. I can't take this humidity anymore. The older I get, the more it just really bothers me, and, and I'm complaining a lot. Okay, wow, 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 right? You know, If you don't like it, change it. So that's what I'm gonna do. What was the point of today's video? You tell me. Most of you know how much I love my Carhartt overalls. I've got three pairs. Watch that video or there's another video I'll put up, but I've done some reviews on these Carhartt Rugged Flex Rigby's. Many of you have been asking me which ones fit the best. So now stay tuned, you're gonna find out. Oh, and we're also gonna compare some of my other favorite work pants. So here we go. Now when the ladies do this type of thing on YouTube, they usually call it like an overhaul, like a summer wear overhaul or like bikini overhaul or well, you know, I'm, not that I watch them. I, I don't really, but I just know that. So we're gonna call this a work pant overhaul. Actually, it should probably be work wear overhaul because of the overalls. All right, this is our work wear overalls. Let's take a look. <laughs> hey, so take a look at this one. Outfit number one, kind of looks familiar, huh? All right. Now, you guys know me by now. I'm a jeans and a t-shirt kind of guy. I like my cutoff sleeves because I hate things on my arms while I'm moving all day. And, and no, it's not a vanity thing. It's not like, a, ooh, I wanna show off my arms. Though, because I like cutoff sleeves, I make sure that my arms are in shape. You see what I'm saying? It's like a chicken before the egg type thing. Get it? So, I like cut off sleeves. I actually like to be shirtless. Anytime I can be shirtless, I am shirtless because I don't like, it's like a thing, you know what I mean? It bothers me. Now pants, now the pants I'm wearing right now are not very nice, clearly, but they are an Old Navy slim skinny jean and I wear these almost every day. Not this pair, I have four pairs of them, okay? Now here's two more that are clean. This is the same exact jean, just with a different you know, pattern or whatever. This is the same jean. This is the same jean. Again, you can kind of see the similarities in the legs. It's the same jean. And then these are my older pair. Got a hole in the crotch here, got a hole in the legs. But I love these jeans because they have a little bit of stretch in them and I can move and I can be comfortable and my butt crack isn't showing when I bend over, see they're high enough. So even if I'm doing plumbing or bending over, I don't get that plumber crack, you know what I mean? So they're comfortable jeans. I like them a lot. They're from Old Navy. You can get them online, oldnavy.com. It's the skinny fit men's, here you go. Skinny, built in tough, built in flex. Now I wear a 3032 and I actually have plenty of room. I'm more like a 28 inch waist, but I wear the 3032 and they fit well after washing. Now I've actually received inquiries about what jeans I'm wearing in uh, two of the videos, believe it or not. I love these jeans. Oh, and by the way, we cannot neglect these awesome boots, okay? These are the Zane by Kodiak. They're tough to get because they're an older model, but guys and gals, these are my most comfortable wedge sole boots. They are so stinking light, guys. These are my runaround boots, okay? I wear these on the weekend when I'm just doing light stuff or running to the store because they're light, they're comfortable. It's a great leather. Oh, take a look at that video right there. That's the Kodiak Zane. Guys, these are awesome. I cannot recommend these boots more, uh, but you cannot work hard in them because that's not what they're made for. They're kind of a fashion wedge, but I love them. Love, love, love them. Anytime I'm going to the store and I'm not working, I put them back on. They're like my house slippers. That's it, they're like house slippers. Okay, moving on. All right, so that's my staple. That's like what I wear most of the time. I know a lot of you don't like to work in jeans. I get that. But see, when I'm working, I prefer to have something that's a little tougher, you know, not something that's soft. I like working in jeans, but I need some stretch, so I like these Old Navy skinny jeans. Okay, so try them out. Okay, next. All right, now this next pant is by Wrangler. It's the ATG line, which is all-terrain gear. Now it's a good work pant. They're very comfortable, they're functional, they got good pockets, and they fit well. They're slim pant. It's not the like big bulky uh, waist and crotch thing that you would expect from Wrangler. Now the waist is really comfortable. It has a very soft uh, felt type of material here. This is really soft, so it's comfortable on the waist. I like that, and the button, 
is a pretty solid button, good zipper. Um, I like the way that the pockets sit, but they are a little tight. You can't fit much in them, and they're tight to get to, okay? Now, I do wear my pants, um, you know, I don't know, tight to fit. I don't like them all loose and baggy. Now, here's the butt. In case you're wondering, don't get uncomfortable. It's okay. The pockets are decent, but I feel like I want the back pocket to start down a little lower. They do fit well, and when I bend over, it's comfortable, but it's just not the fit that I'm into. I got these. I like them. They are a good, good pant. Uh, they do have a reinforced knee here. They do have a reinforced patch on the knee, and I like that. And it also kind of comes in at the knee, and when you bend down, it gives you a little extra room, so it's really comfortable. I'd call them a slim boot fit. That's what I would call them. You could wear, you could wear your cowboy boots with it, and it would, I think they would look good. Again, I'm wearing the Kodiak Zane. Now, this is, this is something kind of cool about these Wranglers. So I do really like this lower pocket here because it actually fits, here's my phone, here's my phone, actually, oh my gosh, Ugh. okay, well, uh, you guys know, okay, so it does fit my phone pretty well, I like that pocket, it's a good pocket. Now it's kind of weird because I have a typical sized iPhone and you can't zip it, like you can put the phone in it, but it doesn't come, the pocket, does, the pocket should have been open a little more here, so you can zip it easily, I can zip it, but it shouldn't be zipped because it's going to break the pocket. So I like that pocket. I like having that for my phone. But it's not exactly functional. So the fit of these pants is nice. I like it, and I think many of you out there working would really appreciate this fit, this style. Again, bending down in them is really comfortable. You can work well in them. I would call these my comfy pants because they're very easy to work in. Now, I tend to rip the crotches in all my pants. I don't know why, but most of my work pants get a rip in the crotch. And it is what it is, but I end up going through pants pretty quickly. So again, this is the Wrangler All-Terrain Gear. I'll tell you what style the pant is so you can look it up, but I got these at Tractor Supply. And I'd say this is a good work pant. And it's nice, and it's pretty lightweight. So, all right, let's move on. Now, let's be real, guys and gals. Who doesn't like to look good even when you're working? Especially if you're going to a client's house. And I know, I know, I'm going back to the cutoff sleeves. That's a preference and a personal opinion. I respect that, okay? But I like my pants to fit well. I like my pants to look good. That's important to me. All right, now, for all of you who have worn a uniform, you're very familiar with Dickies. Now, Dickies are a standard for workwear. I've been wearing Dickies my whole life. My stepfather's uniforms, his work uniforms were Dickies, so I would always borrow his even though they never fit. So Dickies has been around forever, but Dickies are a terrible fit for slim guys. And I mean a terrible fit, and you guys know that. You can't find any Dickies that fit well. Huh, until now, I just found these. I'm definitely not wearing the right boot with them. I would not wear these with them, but these Dickies are they're great. It's a great fit. Finally, something that's not hanging down like at my butt and something that's not got this like huge, huge, enormous crotch and this zipper that goes forever that you can barely even reach, right? These fit great. This is your standard twill work pant in skinny. You got to find these on Amazon, I think. Twill work pant in skinny. It's the standard Dickies, guys, with that little side pocket, reinforced knees. These are great. Now, I don't believe they're as heavy duty as your traditional Dickies. These do feel lighter, which is great going into spring and summer. Plus, I'm always sweating anyway. So these are really, really a top contender for me now. And again, I've got the tags on them. I just got them. I haven't even worn them yet. But these Dickies, these Dickies kind of changed the game for me. I would wear these as a uniform. If I still had all my crews, like I've had for my old companies, Chip Chop and Grind, Build, Guild and Refine, if I still had big crews, I would have everybody wearing these, okay? But I don't anymore. I've just got a few guys and me, and I will wear these. The only downside to these are the belt loops. I don't like how small these belt loops are. It's very tough to get a belt through them. This is a thin belt, thinner than I normally would wear. And if I'm carrying a firearm, this is not my carry belt. And I don't like having to wear something this thin. I would say this is like 
just barely over an inch. But I got it through, and with a little work, I was able to get it through the front tab for the second time, but it did take some work. Now let's get to what most of you are probably here for, the Carhartts. All right, guys and gals, so now I say guys and gals all the time, so I don't know how many gals are gonna be watching this, but who knows, I love you all. Now, these are the overalls. The Carhartt Rugged Flex Rigby. Gotta tell you guys and gals, these are the best overalls I've ever had. And I've been wearing overalls for most of my life since I was a toddler. I mean, I had Oshkosh Bagosh. Oshkosh Bagosh? Oshkosh Bagosh? I think those were the overalls. I had those. Now as an adult, as a grown man wearing overalls, I want them to fit well. I want them to look good. I want them to fit well. Now overalls are obviously a staple for workwear. Now these are some very special overalls though. Why are they special? I don't know actually. I just love them. I don't know. But I think maybe they're special because I love them. I just love them. Mm -hmm. Now, Carhartt is the name for overalls. I mean, you've got your Dickies overalls, you've got your Duluth trading overalls, you've got your, there's a couple more that I know a lot of you guys and gals have mentioned in, in that video right there. Hmm? Hmm? I don't know, my son's off camera telling me that I look good in these overalls. I appreciate that compliment, son, because he's as tall as I am and he's 13. Are you 14? You're 13. He's gonna be much taller than me soon. Can you hear all the kids running around? Remember, I've got six kids and then they have some friends over now. Now your traditional old school duck bib overalls are a standard. I'm sure most of you have at least had one pair throughout your career. They're great overalls. And the good thing about the duck bib overalls is they are built to last. The bad thing is they are built to last. And I mean, they stay stiff. I mean, in reality, I only ever had to buy one pair of duck bib overalls because you couldn't kill them. You'd get some wear in them, but they were amazing. I mean, those overalls are phenomenal. Now, what I didn't like about them was the fit. They were uncomfortable and the fit. I like overalls. I like overalls a lot. I like to work in overalls because they're very comfortable, they're functional, but I hated the way the duck bib overalls fit because I've always been thin. You know, Carhartt was made for work. It was workwear, still is workwear. And the fit was just not made for slim guys. I mean, I like the European fit. Now, these, the Rugged Flex Rigby's, are much better. They're much more accommodating for a slim build. Now, I've made a couple videos on these, but I'm gonna point out some things about these that are really awesome. Now, this is the gravel gray. I also bought my uh, Carhartt Bartlett jacket in the gravel gray. Not necessarily to match, but because I do like this gray. Now, Carhartt, if you're watching this, which I hope you are, please put these out in a black. The Rugged Flex Rigby's in black. I would love them. I'll be the first one to buy them. You know, unless if you tell me first, of course. But this gray is my favorite. Now, here's the thing. I've got three pairs, pair, three pair, three pairs. Pairs or pair, guys? I don't know. I have three. Carhartt Rugged Flex Rigby overalls. 
These are all that they make. The Carhartt Brown, the Gravel, and the Denim. And they each fit differently. I don't like that. So Carhartt, the irregularity in these overalls is not fitting. Get it? Let's do a thumbnail. I think we got our thumbnail. So I've got three pair of these Carhartt overalls. And like I said, the fit is not consistent. Now I also couldn't get the denim in, in the size I wanted, but they shouldn't be that different. The fit of the denim, they're, they're huge. They're, they fit me more like the ducks. They, I, I'm not a fan of them. I love the denim overalls. Carhartt, I, I don't know what to do about these other than, now I'm gonna have to get out my cast iron Juki sewing machine and recut the denim ones because I don't like the fit at all. And I really wanna wear these because I love the denim overalls. So Carhartt, again, I hope you guys are watching this. You know I love your stuff. I'm making all these videos because I love it and I believe in it and I've been wearing Carhartt for years, <laughs> forever. So help me out here. I want a better fit as a slim fit guy. There we go. All right, back to business. Actually, I guess that was the business. Back to fun. Yeah, there we go. Carhartt overalls are killer. I love them. I know you guys love them too. The Rugged Flex Rigby is my favorite. My favorite overall of all time. I'm saying it now, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. But Carhartt, you can improve them for me. You can help me like them even more by giving me a slimmer fit, by giving me a consistent fit. These gravel ones fit me almost perfectly, almost. I would like them a little thinner down at the bottom. I don't necessarily like the boot cut. I would like a skinny look, not skinny, sorry. I would kind of like a little slimmer leg, but it's okay. These, the gravel, fit great. Check it out. All right, now I did this video here in my studio office mainly because of just the space and the lighting that I could achieve here. So I hope you get a good look at these overalls. I want you to see how they fit. Again, I'm 5'10", actually I didn't tell you yet, so here's my measurements finally. I'm 5'10", right now currently 168 pounds. These fit very well, okay? I love these gravel ones. I love the way they fit. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. They actually feel really good. Uh, because again, the duck bib overalls did not feel very good. They were stiff. They were hard to wear. Even if you washed and dried them a thousand times, they were still just kind of stiff and uncomfortable. But you deal with it. Now Carhartt Brown. It's a great color, it's a great work color, but it's a different fit. I'm telling you, these overalls, it's the same size overalls, it's the same model overall, but it's a different fit. These are looser. Look at all this room in the waist. These are looser. They're just slightly baggier in the body than the uh, stone gray ones, but they're not that bad. Let's get back, let's back you up there and. Let's take a look. All right, how's that? Is that a little better? Now you can see, I hope you can see, there's a little more room here. These legs are more roomy than the gravel gray ones were. Um, I, I won't complain too much because one of my big pet peeves is when the, the crotch area is like hanging down here on overalls because that happens a lot. Now again, same features, it's the same model overall. Now I love everything about the features, the pockets, the layout, the zipper up here. Um, I actually really love these straps too. The straps and the, what do you call these things? They're not latches, they're like, it's, it's not a latch, it's just a thingy, right? It's a, it's a thing. Guys, what's this called? It's a brass thing. I don't know, but I like them. I like that it's flat. Although, I miss the old, the old school uh, button thing that would snap and click. There's no click, so it's a little less satisfying. But look, it's nice and flat. And when it hangs, it hangs flat. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a flat hangy thingy. I don't know, guys. But listen, I like this. I know some of you don't, and that's cool. That's okay, but it's, it's for me, okay? Click it in there and it lays flat, and I think that that looks cool. Um, I also like it because it just, uh, I just like the look of this, the whole bib area of this overall. I like the configuration. I like the fit. Although again, with the Carhartt Brown ones, the bib is wider on me than my gravel ones were. And so I would really like a more consistent fit. 
So what do you guys think? Do you like the brown ones, the Carhartt brown ones? I like the back of the bib. It's comfortable. The straps are great again. Uh, but you can tell that they are a little larger. But now on these, the zipper hangs a little lower just because, again, I've got more room in this whole area. And, and I'm not, like, I'm not digging that, okay? Like, I would like it just to fit. The gray ones fit perfectly. But you can tell a little bit here, right? Back pockets are good. You know, you got two two uh, side pockets here that, that are functional. You got your traditional belt loop. All right, so there's Carhartt Brown. All right, here are the denim. What do you think? In the waist, they fit great. I like right here. I don't like anything down. I don't mind the bib, it's a good fit, it's a good size, but the legs are way too big and baggy. Now there's a reason for that. Okay, well, maybe, and here's the question, here's the concern. Let's get some boots on first, okay? Just because my feet don't make it. Oh, and again, hey guys, check this out. I've been carrying the same daily pocket knife for the last five years and it's a Kershaw. I just recently made the switch back to a Spyderco, and so you will get to see this video and my comparison soon. So, but again, one of my favorite features of these overalls is this little flat section of the pocket so you can slip your knife in there and get your hand right in. That is cool. And it's on both sides, so regardless of which side you wear your pocket knife. Back to the denim. Again, same reinforced knee. You do have the pocket for your knee pads. You've got all the same features. Again, if you just want a pair of overalls to kick in, and these are great. And remember, let me show you something. And remember, you can always do the marky mark and take one side off. Now these denim Rugged Flex Rigby's are in a 34 length, and it's entirely too long for me, obviously. But the reason I did that was because I couldn't get them anywhere in a 30-32. But these are a 30-34. Now look how baggy and roomy the leg is. That I can't stand, to be honest with you. It's just too much. Now many of you guys, that might be perfect because it allows you more flexibility to room, more room to move, more comfort, and so forth. I mean, I don't want a skinny jean overalls that looks like I'm wearing a pair of leggings. I'm not into that, but remember, I'm a product of the 80s. I grew up wearing skinny jeans, not because nowadays guys are wearing leggings jeans. You know what I mean? But if any of you do, that's fine, because see, here's the thing. I don't care what anybody does. I want everybody to be able to do what they feel comfortable with. I want everybody to be able to be who they want to be. So I'm okay with whatever you wear, but I'm saying that I like a slim fit leg. All right, so now that you've seen all three pairs of the Carhartt Rugged Flex Rigby overalls on me, which do you like best? But let me tell you, here's the sizes. The denim ones are 30, 34, because that's all I could find. The Carhartt brown ones are a 3232 because they didn't have 3032 at the time. I couldn't find it. So I bought the 3232, and I bet you anything, if these were 3032, they'd fit much better. But the gravel ones are actually a 3234. The gravel ones are the biggest ones of all three of them, and they fit me the best. They fit the slimmest. What's up with that? So, Carhartt, I love you guys. I love you to death. I mean, I'll throw my money at you when you come out with a slim fit overall, okay? I love these Rugged Flex Rigby's. I've said it all day long. Put it in all my videos, love them. But I need a better fit, and I need a consistent fit. I want a 30-32 that fits me like this gravel, and the gravels are 32-34. How funny is that? Oh.
So guys and gals, there it is, my favorite work wear, and I wear these every day, literally. Except on Sundays, and Sundays I get to put something nice on. Now I've got some really exciting news for y'all. I started a partnership with a very good company, uh, a company that you've just seen me wear just now. Uh, I got something really exciting for you, okay? Now that does not mean in any way that I am obligated to say one thing or another about any company. I'm not gonna reveal what that is yet. Oh, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, remember that. Oh, and then, and then hit that like button, okay? Have you done that yet? All right, now tap that bell, that little bell ding, so you can receive notifications anytime I release a new video. So thanks again for watching. I'm Adam, and this is The New Woodworker. All right, so, so back, all right, so, so Carhartt overalls. Duck, you got it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Now your Carhartt duck bib overalls are, I mean, everybody knows that. I bet you everyone watching this has at least had a pair. Okay, that's probably enough. Many of you have worn the duck bill bib over. 